All right, pals. <clears throat> You lads may as well go chill back in Bucharest, honestly. Yeah, they were two great games. They were two great games. Like, I thought the Wales game was phenomenal. But I really enjoyed the Albania game as well. I thought they were just <laughs> really good games of football. Lots of fun. Mmm! Is, is it us shooting down the bad guys? Hell yeah it is. God bless the Dutch Reich. Evening all. Paratroopers! Now you're talking. to make for this rocket artillery hell to the year our paratroopers have rocket artillery they are the real deal yo now we're fighting Nicaragua huh How do you win this game? Um, I believe it ends in a certain date. I'm not entirely sure which. I'll be honest with you. Um, that's the help. We don't want help. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure when it ends. Um, I'm really not sure. Manage occupied territories. Greece. Gentle. Harsh. Or harshest. Resistance growth minus 20. Local resources minus 10. As opposed to minus 20. 
We get a few more factories. Let's go for harsh. Fuck them. Hmm, we built a lot of fighters. Holy hell. We shot up. We sank a Greek destroyer. Not bad, lads. Shot up another one. Sunk a, an American submarine. Sank an America, another American submarine. We should really research naval bombers. Take control of the med. Um, I don't think that winning necessarily means getting more points than anyone else. I think a big part of it as well is um, how well you do relative to your nation. So how well did I do for Romania? And I think we've done pretty effing well, honestly. I mean, we've taken over a huge chunk of Russia. We've taken over uh, a big chunk of Bulgaria. We've taken Greece. You know, we're we're doing all right. We're really doing all right. I'm pretty pleased with how things are going. Um, one issue would be the Americans, Amerikanski, who will probably turn up at some point and screw us. Um, Turkey are our friends, so I'm happy with that. But we've got to look out for naval invasions. That's why I've, I've fortified Greece. I honestly can't imagine the Americans are going to bring a naval force through here because I don't think they can come through because we're on the same side. But they could invade here. What is this? This is a... The Australians are flipping landed. G'day, Cobber! We're here to take back Greece! What did he say? Yeah, something about Greece. Yeah, we need to work on this. That's how we'll prevent an in invasion. Shot down our submarines, killed three uh, of their flipping destroyers.
handled. The paratroopers are almost ready. Now we need to make some, uh, oh gosh, we need to make some flipping transport planes. So the reason it says two a month is because when you first start making it, you've got to get the factories up to speed. You've got to figure out what you're doing, get all the equipment sorted. Everybody's got to be trained and stuff, which I really like. So your production efficiency starts off really low and then gradually goes up and up and up and up until eventually you're just pumping them out. So like right now, we've been making, I mean, we've been making motorized trucks the entire time. So our efficiency is 100%. We know what we're doing. Same with improved artillery. We got it. Infantry weapons. Everybody's ready. Oh. The U.S. is justifying against us. I don't like the sound of that. Dutch Reich, we need rubber. Did we sink some more shit? Oh, yeah. The, the flipping... Is that the Canadians? Flipping Canucks are having a pop now. What's up with these lads? Italy generally gets bogged down in this lengthy war with the British where, for whatever reason, it's completely incapable of handling a war in Africa, which it really should be able to handle, because Italy is here. It can just go, bloop, and drop troops in Africa. And they've basically taken almost the whole thing. Even the Portuguese have waited in here. Belgium, nationalist Spain. I like the permanent sandstorms over Iraq. So I've deployed it because I want to see what's the dilio. How many dudes can it carry? No idea. Our paratroopers are going to be amazing. I can't wait. We're going to drop them on Crete. Might be messy, y'all. Holy shit. We got infantry, the next level of infantry equipment. Look at that, this is real deal. Assault rifles, proper bazookas, not too shabby. could build another armor division. This is our elite tanks. This is it. This is the Romanian dream team. The Georgi Haji squad. Expensive. But hashtag worth. 
What are we not making? Mechanized and medium tank. Okay. Battle of Rhodes, we survived. Good. I like that. Surviving is important. How's our production going on the old paratroopers? Good. Training. Training hard. I mean, we're not going to build more than one run of those heavy tanks. They are... They are our... The Americans are here and they mean it desperation force like we'd fight like you know ram bucharest that's our like super backup squad in case in case shit gets super real it's tempting to go and help the uh the italians we've got a reasonable army like we've got a much better army than i thought we'd have All right, hold on. Free military factories, because we're building some, so that's good. National focus, special forces. So what is the weight that they can carry? This is what I don't know. Does anyone know how to find the weight that uh, transport planes can carry? That's the manpower. On the tech tree. Not on there. Wait, not point five. Stream will cease when England game commences, friends. We need steel? We need steel? Thank you, Big Daddy. Worst rapper to ever spit on an open mic. By the way, our fighters are actually doing pretty fucking well, by the way.
what next? Whose side is Saudi Arabia on? No one's. <laughs> Welcome to the party, pal. Never trusted those Saudis. Well, since I realized we could just parachute a bunch of Romanians on top of them. The, the message log not being there is a killer. I don't know why there's no message log. Like, you hear a man, 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 man sound of it. It's like, what, what was that? What was that? What does it mean? Oh, one of our subs got sunk. And another one of our subs got sunk. Paratroopers 2. Hell yeah. They're almost ready, sir. Excellent. 12 transport planes. Actually taking control of the skies. I'm delighted. But we've got to get this base. This is the air base where all the disgusting allied air is coming from. Uh oh. It's us against the Brits. Once we get our naval bombers. We've got the land sorted. I don't think we're going to get invaded now. I'd be amazed if the Americans think that the best place to launch an attack is all the way around through the med and into us. That would be insane. Um, they'll probably just go straight for the coast here. Or Brabant. Which is huge for our economy, having a big chunk of the Netherlands. This war is still going on. God, those Scandinavians just do not know when to quit, do they? They took Norway. They took Finland, most of it. But the, uh, the noble Swedes refuse to give in. Japan is doing well. Is that Japanese troops in the Dominican Republic? We've got to land troops in America. That has to be our big play. That's got to be the big play. I want to have Romanians marching through Washington. That's the dream, friends. That's the dream. All right, let's... Yes, yeah, deployed. Parry troopers. Right, lads, you guys need to get to here. Eighteen transports. I don't know how effective they are at carrying people. That's true, the Aussies did try it. They landed two guys. We can't ignore that fact. Are these Japanese troops attempting a landing? No. Nope, they're just parking up. Looks like they're heading... They're probably going the long way around to that seaboat. Oh my goodness. We got special forces. They sunk one of my subs. God damn. We need steel. I cannot believe that, honestly. Oh, we do need motorized, I guess, because we're still essentially using it. Let's make some rockets.
Where's those paratroopers? There they are. They're almost here, lads. They're almost here. Be still, my beating heart. General Holborn! You're in charge of the parry troopers. The Romanian birdmen. Right, so I think I go paratroop order, and we want to drop straight on Heracleon. We need 24 transports. Excited? I'm excited. The wait till the plan is ready. They're still preparing. Yeah, I know how to launch air invasions. Ready? Execute! We're in, lads! sunk a Greek sub. Awesome work. Awesome work, boys! No navy? No problem! And once we get our... Uh... Oh my goodness. Are we attempting to sink the British fleet in the Med? I think that means they haven't been seen. So we're sneaking up on them. We're sneaking back. All right, well played. Well played. Yeah, they left it undefended. What is this? Oh my god, the Vichy French. We're sending our close support fighters out to help, but Vichy French transports are getting attacked. Who owns this? The UK owns Cyprus. Cyprus doesn't have an airbase on. Uh, this is owned by Italy. Italy. Good. Good, good. So the British air bases are currently... None. This is good. They haven't got an airbase, so we control the skies. And now the naval bomber production begins. Let's get it up to naval bomber 2. Are we trading away a shitload of steel? We export 65 of our steel. We're just using buttloads of it. So bear in mind when we started this war, we don't need to make these anymore. Yeah, so when we started this war, Romania had, what was it, 14 or 16 factories total? And we just controlled a little bit. Before the war started, we lost Northern Transylvania. 
the Russians said it belonged to the Hungarians. And I said, do you know what, Adolf? I'm a big fan. I mean, obviously, we've modeled our entire government on the principles that you laid out in your uh, opus, uh, Mein Kampf. So, I mean, I'm torn. I love Northern Transylvania. We Romanians consider it part of our lands. But in deference to you, we shall, we shall say, okay. Uh, and I thought, well, this isn't a great start because I said we were going to conquer this area and instead we've had to give up part of it. Immediately, the Bulgarians started some shit. We stole half, two-thirds of their property. Then the Yugoslavians. We helped out. We didn't get to claim much, but we helped out a little bit. Um, and then the Greeks. And I said, no mass. No mass. Greece is ours. And we did take Greece. But before that, the Great War with the Soviet Union. They started it. Actually, we started it. The, the, the Germans started it. They took Poland and immediately war decked Russia. And I thought, that's a gamble. Because it's winter and all the German troops were here and all the Russian troops were here and they didn't even have a front line. But it worked amazingly well. And the, the Germans just never stopped. They plowed through uh, west to east. And then, I'm not saying that the reason that southern Russia fell so quickly was because of us, but we played a big part. We played a bloody big part. Took some key points, and we created an opening and a nice little envelope through which the German forces could pour, and pour they did, and they snaked up and up and up and up. And uh, we took loads of ground. We took a bunch of key p places. We took Moscow, for Christ's sake. Uh, and in doing so, we, we managed to get enough points so that when it came time to sit down around a table and divvy up Russia, we were able to get some really good places. I mean, all right, you know, this, is, this isn't great. But if you look at the resource map, not the resistance map, where's the resource map? We got a load of steel, chromium, look at this, aluminium, tungsten, steel, chromium, same, oil, loads of oil. We have so much oil. It's ridiculous how much oil we have. So, yeah, it's going great. And then we took Greece, and now we just took Crete. I think we need to take Cyprus because there's a there's a British naval base there. We can't have that. We'll wait for them to regroup, and then it's go time. We've got a crap load of planes ready to come out. Holy God. Let's let's keep some reserve fighters. lads. Looks 
Looks like Cairo got taken. This is a problem. El Alamein is a real issue for the uh, for the Italians here. Even though these guys should be completely out of supply. Encircled, but they are entrenched. I feel like they need some uh, some Romanian help. Finland's quit. Aha! Malta. We'll hop on some troop transports and we're going back. We're defending these uh, German convoys, our close air support planes, which are not the best. Once we get those naval bombers out there, we're going to start shrekking some of this uh, British Navy. Where'd that come from? Are they shooting us down or are we shooting them down? We're shooting them down. Where are they based? They must have a carrier. How much have you sunk? Nothing. Oh wow, we sunk a carrier! Our subs and some Japanese subs sunk a carrier! Oh, it's a heavy cruiser. Damn, sorry. Where are their planes coming from? They must have a carrier. What is this? What is this? They keep landing these little tiny invasion forces. The UK got an airbase up here? No. I'd love to know where these planes are coming from. Sorry, lads. Did you guys give up on the whole being transported thing? We'll fly you there. We'll fly you there. Let's work on that Navy. And the only way to move them is by parachute. It's kind of goofy. Now, can we reach there? I'd be curious to find out. Aha! Malta is the trouble. It's just too far away. Just too far away. Damn! What if we were to rebase down here? Then we'd be able to make it.
click on the select power drop source. Damn, why isn't that working? We can't reach Malta, but we must be able to get close. Like, I must be able to move my troops to an airbase that's close by. risky. Maybe that would be close enough? Oh my god, I clicked. It's too late. They're going for it. They're just going for it. They've been caught. 22 American subs. They're still, they're running away. They might just make it. I believe, boys. Nope. Three of them made it. That might be enough. Right. <sighs> That's enough. I can budget Donald Trump here. Donald Trump at you. Plan is ready, sir. Execute! Yeah, gotcha! Malta is ours. Get wrecked. Running out of vape juice and taking a hit is the worst thing. England, Russia. Come on, in. Greece still has some of the Aegean Islands? It does indeed. Looks like we need some more parry troopers. How's the training going? Sir, we're ready. Good. Dropping these green, green paratroopers.
Would you ever consider doing a multiplayer stream of Hearts of Iron? Yeah, sure, if I could find people who wanted to play it. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We sunk a sub. Good stuff. Oh, man. Perform kamikaze attacks on enemy ships. This will greatly increase damage, but also increase your own losses. Wow. That's scary, isn't it? Kamikaze. What's this? This looks like an invasion fleet. Submarines? No, no, no. Once we get our uh, naval planes going, we're fucking away with it, boys. Speaking of which, how's that naval plane coming along? Oh, we, we're not making any shit. Oh, we were going to wait for naval bomber 2. 53 days, okay. That looks like a foothold. Uh oh. Getting amongst it, boys. Fighter 3, you say? Oh, yeah, we should work on jet fighters and shit. Rubber. Damn you, rubber. Lost a sub. Oh, man. Naval battle in the med. This is our focus now. Winning this. Somehow. What's this? Sunk a British sub. Get wrecked. Lost two subs. Dutch Reich has subs in the area now. Nice, nice. Glad to see it. Sunk a, a Dutch, a, a American and a Greek ship. Good, good. Lost for the loss of one plane.
can't believe we're low on steel. We make so much of it. What do we sink? Hell yeah, we sunk another sub. 27 American subs. Where are they basing out of? They must be just basing out of the UK and just coming all this way. This isn't great. This really isn't great. I'll be interested to see how that develops. Naval Bomber 2. Yeah, buddy. Our Navy sure is flexible. Because it's been turned into jelly. There is a naval base right there. Right, lads. Right, boys. You lads ready? Activate! Yes, the match still goes ahead if the fans all get arrested. We've got the Aegean Islands. Nice, la. The George Hadry squad's coming along. Oh god, I think some of the George Hadry squad's been built. <gasps> These are legit. That's our legit ultra defense force. So we're currently making... How many seaplanes are we making a day? One a day, more or less. I mean, it's 1943. Romania have done pretty bloody well. I hope the Nazis wake up to the fact that, you know, there's a shitload of... I mean, they've chucked 110 divisions at Sweden. I feel like... Actually, there are a lot of American troops there. Niels Lind up against Omar Bradley.
Free civilian factories. Sick. Right. Let's, uh, oh, I guess we finished all our constructions. We can't build radar yet. Right, y'all. It's the England game. I'm going to save it there.